What up, YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. The grind never stops, man. The grind never stops. Look at my new attire. We're doing a little bit of lifting today and Ubering and stuff like that, you know? And at the same time, still watching the load board. I've been stuck on Amazon load board because it, um, the way I'm seeing it, it seems like it's going to be a very difficult task to mess around with the DAT load board right now. It's just because you have so many trucks on standby, it's gonna be much more upsetting than what I'm getting ready to show you. With, with that being said, let's go take a look, right? So, let's look at the Amazon. Now, I've been watching the load board since this morning. Uh, I, did, I, did, I, did some, I did some runs, I did some Amazon runs, uh, not Amazon runs, but uh, I did some uh, ride share runs and I went back home and I was like, you know what? Let's go watch the load board. I also, also, oh, there we go. It just changed on you. So this is what I'm getting ready to say. Also, I watch the Amazon load board while I'm out doing ride share. <laughs> I'm telling you, the grind never stops. So let's look at this, right? So these are short, uh, these are uh, solo two blocks. If you look at right here, it says block is a day and 13 hours. And if you look at right here, this is your price and it says accessorials. So that means the fuel surcharge and your, um, your tolls are not calculated with that price. Now, one day and 13 hours, that much. Usually, Usually that means it, here in Vegas, you're going to run anywhere from 650 to about 840 miles on that one solo two blocks. That's one day and 13 hours. That's 37 hours. If I'm doing my math correctly, 24 plus 13, yes, 37 hours. Those are your solo two blocks. Uh, the reason why I'm emphasizing this and I'm uh, mentioning this because of the fact that I've been watching the load board and there's so many people that I think that are just not aware on how an, a load board works such as Amazon itself. Because if you just saw where it turned green, when it turned green, that means the price changed. So let's talk about these blocks, right? Let's just talk about blocks right now. Earlier, there were blocks were starting for this week, they were starting at, which is like uh, Monday, from Monday all the way till the end of next week, they were starting at around um, 1500. These ones, they started at 1200. The reason for that, because this is all computerized. A lot of this is computerized. When when, when the computer sees something such as like something is in high demand, it's going to keep bumping those prices down. <laughs> you listening to me? So it's going to keep bumping those prices down. That's why your starting price on this is uh, freaking 1200 now when it was 1500 We don't grab these loads like me, myself. We don't grab these loads until they're around 1850, 1900, which turns out to be a current fuel surcharge with Amazon right now, it will turn out to be around $2,400 to $2,500 for that uh, run, for that two days. It's going to take you two days. You have to spend 10 hours out on a, on a solo two block, 37 hours. You have to spend 10 hours out uh, doing your DOT 10 hours, and then you come back. So that's two days. Uh, it's two shifts, actually, but you only spend one night out. So sometimes you spend two nights out because the way the time that it starts. Anyway, so let's go back on these, right? So these, these blocks, they started at 1,200. Look at where they are now at 1,373. They're not going to be on until next week of June, uh, June 1, which is Wednesday. The, that's when, uh, and the time starts at 1830. So these are going to be night shifts, okay? The reason why I'm saying this is because these are going to go up some more. I believe 
the max that I've seen some of these blocks right here in Vegas. Now you got to think I'm talking about here in Vegas, this market, every market is different. Okay. But they were maxing out at, at around 1900. And then after they get to around 1900, what happens is they move them to what they call, uh, or what we call a spot load. So they will turn into here. They would move them, move those loads into here because time is running out. Usually around 1900, their time is going to run out. So they're going to move them over here and then they're just going to keep on bumping the price, bumping the price until somebody books them. And that's the basic idea of it. That's why I don't know what everybody's bottom line is or bottom rate is or base rate is, you know, and I, I could really care less, but at those rates at 1500, those, those blocks were going out lot like hotcakes. I kid you not. <laughs> there was, I would say from Saturday, which is tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, there was at least, I'd say eight or nine blocks that went out just like that at 1500. Just like that. And then there was a couple that went out at 1200. Come on, don't do it, man. Don't do it, really. I mean, so at 1200, let's say you ran 18 or uh, 800 miles, and then your fuel surcharge, let's just say it's around 70 cents to the mile, and your truck is doing about 7.4. I think you, you'll be paying about 10 cents to the mile uh, if you add the surcharge. So you're going to be around 80 something cents to the mile. Now that's good, right? Because you're only paying 10 cents to the mile, uh, when you figure the surcharge. But the problem with that is that you got so all of these stops, you got all of these stops to make and you're, they're renting you for 37 hours. It's no, it's no problem because if you look at it from the spot market perspective, you have all of these, dead times when you're out there booking loads, looking for trailers and this and that, right? But when you're out there, uh, when you're standing by doing nothing is better than sitting there waiting for a load and not, to, not to come. But I'm not saying that Amazon is bad. I'm saying you should wait, wait it out and let it do its thing because all of that is system. It's systemized, it's programmed. Freaking microphone actually ran out of battery. So we're using this microphone now. Anyway, what I basically what I'm saying, everything is systemized, right? Everything is programmed, it's pre-programmed. So the system will do what it's programmed to do, you know? So if you would just sit there and wait, you will see what I'm talking about. Prime example. Okay, so let's take a look. There's only two of them left now. So somebody obviously booked that other one at 373. I believe that's where we left off. So these ones, look where, look where they went up <laughs> at 74. It's just, it's going to keep going up. You know, if you run out, I think that's what a lot of people are afraid of is they're going to run out of loads and uh, rightfully so, right, rightfully so for them to think that way. Okay. You could possibly run out of load. But, uh, you know, I guess it depends. It depends on your priority and how you set, uh, how you're set up. You know, me, I'm pretty comfortable, so I can't really model the way I operate against somebody else, you know, but I would say, I would highly suggest that you wait, you know, because at those rate right now, at that rate, you're barely over two dollars and 30 cents to the mile even including the surcharge because here in vegas you're going to run anywhere from 650 to about 840 miles on these blocks so it's but either way they're going to try to maximize your time the 37 hours these guys have gotten so good and efficient at timing you at, or, or at scheduling you that they have got, uh, they, they will utilize you for the whole 37 hours that could be driving or that could be waiting around or that could be dropping trailers here and there.
where am I leading to? Oh, it's uh, Memorial Day weekend, by the way. Actually, it's Memorial Day today. I'm going to be heading to the Veterans Memorial uh, Cemetery up in... I forgot the name of that town, but it's on the I-11. Boulder, Boulder City. If I remember, if correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the only veteran cemetery out here. But where I'm leading up to this, right, is that you have, I've been, I watch the load board the whole weekend, right? Just, just the Amazon load board. I know I'm not uh, doing the, the DAT load board right now because it's just that the way it looks, it just isn't, it's, it's Amazon is actually competing pretty good with the DAT load board. And if Amazon loads look like this, your DAT load board is probably about the same, you know? So it's it makes no difference to watch the DAT load board or this one. But anyway, I this weekend I watched the DAT load board. And let me tell you, people are snagging up to 230, 210 whatever right i mean i get it man i really do but if you're snagging up 210 230 uh rate to the mile it better be one stop one pick one drop you know what i mean but if it becomes where like these amazon blocks where you have one two eight ten eleven twelve fourteen stops where they rent you for 37 hours, <laughs> those are not good rates at that. That's really not good rate. And even at 230, one pick, one stop, that's the very bottom that you should be picking. I mean, I just, uh, I mean, after fuel and after your overhead, I think you're making about a dollar a mile, you know, after insurance, after maintenance and all that, maybe a, le a little bit less than a dollar a mile. So that's... That's why I've been looking into venturing into the flatbed. I did ask my insurance guy, and this son of a gun told me, this was like a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. Yeah, I think it was two months ago. This son of a gun told me it, my my premium are going to be uh, around 1900 Yeah, 1900 a month. I think that's a little high. Now, take a look at this, right? So... There's this load or there's this trailer. I don't know. Y'all let me know. It's been a long time since I've been in a uh, flatbed. So y'all let me know down below what you think about this one. Let's take a look at this, right? I think, I mean, that looks like a pretty good price for that trailer. And it the main thing to this trailer is that it has all of that, right? It has... It, it, I hope it comes with a ramp. That's why I contacted the guy. But he did not list the uh, the specs of the trailer. Like how much weight can those axle uh, scale? I mean, I know you can get to what I think. I believe it's 20,000. I got to take a look at my, uh, my uh, uh, atlas again and see what it looks like. See what it shows. But I believe it's going to be around... 20,000 per axle on those so actually this trailer would be a really really good trailer um, It looks like this the third one the last one should go up if this Cali legal that last axle should go up as well The middle axle goes up. So you have your 10 foot spread I imagine what that's what that is and then the rear axle will go up for your Cali legal So you're within the 40 foot from the kingpin. I believe but this one, this one looks pretty good, man. You have your, um, you have your tie downs right there. That's really nice. It's really nice that they got those tie downs for your vehicles. That's, I imagine that's what those, uh, those are intended purposes for equipment, tying down equipment. You know, rub rails look okay. I mean, this trailer. I mean, for that price, I would say that's pretty damn good. At twenty eleven, and. If it comes with all of that, like the ramps and all of those, oh man, that's that's pretty doggone good. And there's a little toolbox on the side. Oh, two toolboxes on the side. So, you know what? I'd say that's not bad. So we're uh, we're contacting this guy. He's probably not gonna be in the office until freaking uh, until tomorrow. But man, 
I'm really excited for this one. We'll go, we'll go pick that up. Louisiana. Monroe, Louisiana. And if we can get a couple more thousand off of that, because it's Memorial Day, hey, <laughs> why not? I mean, it looks good. It looks like overall it's in good shape. So I think I'm, I'm going to be able to do more with this trailer because it's a three axle setup. But at the same time, it looks like it should be Cali legal. And it, that's, I mean, the way the setup is, it looks like it's going to be Cali legal. And also, based on the description, it looks like it has low pros. I don't want to show you guys the name because you might snag up the trailer before I will. <laughs> but uh, I don't even think this thing is available right now at that price, you know. So it's got an 8-foot upper deck, and the rest of it, it's, it's, you know what? Why does it need to be that when it's a 48? Hmm, that's weird. No, I just saw that. If it's a 48... You don't have to worry about being Cali legal. So really, you can have that axle up. So that rear axle does not go up then, I don't think. Doesn't look like it would go up. No. Because it's a 48. Don't need to be. The middle is the only one that needs to go up because you can't run that in Cali. I guess it's good. Now I'm thinking, eh, it should have been a 53 with those three axles. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what the guy says. Man, let me tell you something else, right? Getting old definitely sucks. So the other day, a couple of days ago, I was laying down on this couch. Obviously, I don't fit the whole length. I was laying down on that couch, and for some reason, man, like right now I'm standing a little crooked because freaking back is sore. It's just, it's, I'm telling you, getting old, man, getting old. Back in the military, if you would only, if you can only see or imagine where we have slept, like slept on the top of the Humvee, you know, on the hood of the Humvee, and there's... There's a little, uh, what you call it, it's a hook there. You put a chain there and that's how you like lift it in the air, right? And there's, and usually that's always in the way for you to lay down. And also like the ridges of the hood or whatever, right? I mean, there's, there's so many places that we have slept that we slept good and woke up and completely fine. Nothing wrong with you, with your body or anything like that. But nowadays it's like... <laughs> That's almost nearly flat, man. But my back is sore as hell for a couple of days now. It's like I'm I'm walking a little crooked. <laughs> but anyway, that's the end of this vlog, man. It's like I'm talking about rates. I'm not complaining about rates. I really am not. We're just going to readjust from where we are right now to be more profitable, you know. Because, like I said, I'm not going OTR for that rate. Those rates are not good you know um even for home rate those rates are not good i would rather do lyft and uber be out here and not move my truck because my truck costs more in maintenance when that thing breaks down so technically if you're if you're uh if you're making over a dollar a mile even just barely over a dollar a mile your maintenance man it's just no we're not doing that. So that's the end of this vlog. We'll see y'all till the next one.